I am going to show you how do you start a new year. First, go to File and select Starting a New Year. Click. It is very important for you to back up before you start a new year. Click on Backup and back up all data. If you have checked the company file for errors earlier on, you can select Do Not Check. Nevertheless, it is always good to check your company file for error and click continue, backup. Okay, once it is completed, I would continue. This is what will happen. MLOB will brief you all the steps and you can just click continue after you have finished reading it. What will be the new financial year? In this case, my financial year was 2010 and the next new financial year will be 2011. And this is my last month of the new financial year. If your financial year starts from January to December, uh, this will be the uh, end, last month of your financial year. And the new period, it can be 12 or 13. If you would like to key in your audit adjustment in 13 months, please select 13. And continue. It is good for you to keep receipts grouped with undeposited funds, so hence we shall continue. And it's also good to purge your audit trail as well as purge items, movement entries. And we continue. All right, this is fairly important. If you would like to click, uh, if you'd like to keep close transactions from the prior financial years, you need to tick this box and MLB will ask you, when do you keep the data from? In this case, I'm, I'm keeping all the old transactions from FY 2010 onwards. Continue. This is for your bank reconciliations. If you have done certain bank reconciliations, it is good for you to tick and continue. Once you have done so, you are ready to start a new financial year. Simply click on this button and a new financial year will happen. All right, I'm done. When I go to setup and company information, you will see my current financial year has changed from 2010 to 2011.